Okay guys, I'm in Milan, Italy, but I'll only be here for one day so we're gonna try to make the most of it and explore as much as we can and eat as much as we can. So that's what we're doing right now. I'm just heading out and I'm trying to go to, I don't even know what it's called, but we're gonna try to navigate the streets over here. I'm in love with this outfit but I can't find it anywhere I keep finding myself in Zara also guys but Okay guys, so I just walked around and I've done basically all the touristy stuff um, but my assignment when coming to Milan from my cousins was to try these two food places Al Antico Vinayo or something and Panzerati Luini Sadly, Panzerati Luini is closed on Sundays so I won't be able to try it because I'm only here for today and it's a Sunday but we're gonna head over to the other spot and try out the panini, I think. So I forgot to update you guys on last night when I landed. So I landed at like 1 a.m. or like 1.30 and I was looking at Ubers and everything was like 300 something euros and over. Um, I guess because they don't have much Ubers here. Uh, so then I was like, okay, like it's a time I learned to use the metro system here. But then I was thinking about it and this is a country I've never been to where I don't know the language and I'm a female POC traveling alone and it's almost 2 a.m. So I decided to take a taxi instead, which again, it was still like pretty expensive, but not as bad as the Uber cost. And at the end of the day, I was comfortable, I felt safe and I didn't have to lug my luggage around because I was also sleepy and I'm all for sleep so it was nice and then i got to the hostel safe and sound and everything went smooth from there but yeah that was my night yesterday and then i was trying not to make like so much noise in the hostel too because i didn't want to wake anyone up so it was quite an experience but yeah i don't feel that unsafe here to be honest it's just so crowded i made a gelato break i got coffee flavor this time and it's so good okay it's the moment of truth two hours in the hostel and then I was getting bored so I was like hey let's go for a walk but like everything is closed so I'm just like walking in this way okay so we have found ourselves in McDonald's because everything seems to be closed around here for some reason um I obviously was just very parched so I got a peach iced tea and then I got water um and guess what so in their cafe 
They have macaroons. So, did I get macaroons from? Oh, yeah. I got macaroons. And, so I wanted taco macaroons but didn't have any. So she also gave me tiramisu. Canada doesn't have such luxuries, guys, but I'm gonna try it and let you guys know how it is. like a hit or miss um, I like some of them some of them I'm just like not vibing with so let's try this one and you get like a good scoop that's good tiramisu wow So I have pistachio and raspberry. Let's try pistachio first. It's so good. I think I like the pistachio one better, but the raspberry is still really good, and the tiramisu is really good. The iced tea is hitting. I'm happy. This is basically my dinner. Mine's main today, but I'm just not even gonna bother. But yeah, I'm just gonna finish this and then head back to the hostel. Probably see. It's day two and I've just made it to my hotel in Venice. I'm only here for one night so I want to make the most of it. But today morning I woke up. I didn't even care to look presentable. I put my hair in like this messy ass bun. And now I'm here. I didn't realize that there would be so many bridges I had to climb in order to get to my hotel. So I literally did arm day because I was carrying my luggage up those fucking stairs. Um, sorry I shouldn't be swearing. But... I'm going to show you guys a little tour of my hotel room because I feel like a princess here and then we're going to go explore. I want to go on a gondola ride even though I'm alone and yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on what we do. I'm gonna go find a gondola ride and explore. I heard it's a pretty small island, so there's not too much, but everything's in walking distance. So we're just gonna go out and have a good time. Um, and yeah.
Okay guys, I'm back from the gondola ride and I absolutely loved it. The guy that was rowing my boat was so informative. He told me the history of like Venice and the different buildings and all of that and everything like I didn't know. So it was super interesting to learn about and the gondola was so beautiful. I definitely recommend if you guys are ever in Venice to just splurge a little on a gondola ride. Um, but yeah, now... I think I'm gonna change because everyone is literally wearing like casual outfits and I'm over here in a full-on dress and like makeup done, hair done. So we're gonna change into something a little more casual and then explore some more. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I want to do so maybe go to like the famous bridge lookout spot and I think there's a few museums and stuff but I think I might close by the time I even get there. So we shall see. Okay guys, I made it over to like a plaza area with like all the tourist stuff that you need to see basically. Um, and there's a live band here playing music at like the restaurant. And I'm like, wow, how romantic that would be. Um, but looks like we're gonna go on a solo date. That was the best dinner I've ever been to alone. Um, the pizza was so good. The cheese was so stringy. Like, I'll insert a picture, but like, it was so good. But now I need to head back to the hotel. And your girl's for sure going to get lost. I felt like I was going through a maze. You can barely see me right now because it's so dark. But today I also decided not to wear my glasses because I got tired of how I look with my glasses on and I was like, you know what, we're gonna be hot girl in Venice, but now I'm blind girl in Venice, and it's probably not a good idea, but yeah, we're gonna try to get back. Okay guys, I have made it back to the hotel safely, and now I'm just contemplating if I should just go to bed even though it's 8 30 and I'm not sleepy at all because I have a flight to catch in the morning to go to Sardinia but I think I have to wake up extra early because I know I'm gonna carry my luggage up those stairs again for those bridges and I know I'm gonna take forever because that shit was not easy anyways that is where we're at right now um I'm thinking I might have to wake up at like 4 or 4 30 which doesn't give me much time but I also feel like one day in Venice is enough for me personally so that's where we're at I need to figure out my situation for tomorrow and then I will catch up with you guys also guys can we just appreciate my eyeliner today I feel like both eyes are a bit different actually but ooh she popping so I've made it to the airport, it's 6am and obviously I did not care to do my hair or anything once again but I'm too early so my check-in has not even started but I'd rather be here earlier than later and obviously I had to climb up those three bridges with my luggage which was a struggle but all I had to do was look back and I saw someone in a hood and I couldn't see like who it was and I was like that's all the motivation I need honey I was not giving anyone the benefit of the doubt so i walked up those stairs like a strong muscle man and then i just rolled it down the stairs because i was like uh, uh that's not what we're doing but we have me and we're just waiting for check-in now i will check in with you guys later also i realized i always like look away when i'm talking and not at like the camera itself and that's only because i like to be aware of my surroundings so yeah i will check in with you guys once i land <laughs> 